Hey guys, Cindy Otter here with My Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. We are here to work on our Chronic Pain ABCs. And this week we are up to the Q. Um, now I'm sure a bunch of you are like, oh my gosh, what kind of Q words? Well, <laughs> it took me a while, but I found some. <laughs> um, Alright, so let's start off. I'm going to start with a little bit of paint today. Um, I'm going to do this. Deco Art Ultra Deep Blue and Anita's, which is a cream color. I just wanted something a little bit different today. I didn't want to do it all. Oh, that one's got to be used up. I didn't want it all one, you know, just one color. So we're just going to kind of mess around with some paint. All right. So what have we got for our cues? Let's start out with... Um, the biggest one that I do all the time, which is question and query. Same thing. Means the same thing. To query something means to question something. Now, any of you guys that are out there with the chronic pain, you know we don't ever just take anything, you know, oh, okay, that's what's going on. Yeah, no. Um, if it doesn't explain everything that's happening with your body, if it, if it doesn't seem to fit, keep questioning. Don't stop because you know we we really need to know what's going on with our bodies and sometimes you just have to keep asking and eventually they figure it out so um yeah that's one of my first ones for question i'm doing both sides i just want to paint these and get the paint dry so um so that's my first one is is question or query and then really the only other one i could think of um right off the top of my head is quivering because my legs like to do that. Um, sometimes they'll actually go into what what is known as a muscle spasm, but then there's times that they like to they quiver. It's like they're just real, real tiny muscle spasmish things going on back there. So um, yeah, that's the only other one I could come up with on the bad side um, per se is quivering. I just want to get this paint on here. I'm making a mess. But I'm having fun making a mass. I'll bet you I got some on the other side. Yeah, that's all right. All right, let me dry this up. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. Now I'm going to take, let's see, I'm going to take this sponge. I'm going to take some of that dark blue. I'm just going to play around with this tag, um, you know, while we talk about our keywords. Like I said, I don't have a lot of keywords on the bad side. Um, let's see, what can I think of? Quit. Ah, that's a good one. I should write that one down because no one may I'll forget it. Because, you know, how many times do you just want to quit? You're just, you're done. You've had enough. You don't want to do this anymore. Um, I don't know how many times I've said to my husband, that's it. I'm done. I can't, I just can't do it anymore. And he's like, what do you mean? You can't quit. Well, yeah, sometimes we like to quit, right? All right, so... Now, what I found, I had, I got this stamp set um, not long ago at Tuesday morning from Bow Bunny. Where is it? It's right here. And it's these little monsters. Aren't they cute? And I thought, you know, they're kind of quirky looking. Ha! Ah, the Q word. And um, so I thought, you know, I'll print, uh, do a couple stamps of these guys. I was going to say print these out, but that's not what I did. And we're going to put these little guys on here. So I'm going to fussy cut it real quick. And uh, yeah, what else can we think of? Quit, um, query, quote. <laughs> Don't quote me, but I can tell you uh, chronic pain is, is a pain in the royal behind. Um, what else? What can we think of? I got some keywords for the other side, and they probably would apply for this side as well. Um, I'm just trying to think what words I could use. Um, you know, one that actually applies to both sides is quiet. Um, you can ask any of my friends when I get in really bad amount of pain. I get very quiet, and I just I, I don't want to talk. Um, I think it's my way of just trying to deal with what's going on. And I think it's my way of just saying, you know, 
just, you know, please respect me, respect, and just leave me alone. <laughs> um, and I've had a few days like that recently because just the pain just gets overwhelming and it gets so old so quick that you just you just want to cry. But anyways. Um, so yeah, quiet. Don't be surprised if somebody you know that's living in chronic pain all of a sudden either goes off the grid or you don't hear from them for a couple days or whatever the case may be. Um, and I will say as a one of those people that do that, that tend to go off the grid or go silent, um, it's okay to check in on us. You know, it, it's good. Uh, just don't you know, don't expect a whole lot of conversation. Um, don't expect a whole lot of, of you know, communication. And that is just the way that some of us, and I will say some of us because I am one of them, it's the way how we deal with the pain is just by going quiet. Um, I tend to, you know, just kind of lock stuff up inside me to go quiet. All right, I love this little guy here. I just put a little bit of washi on the bottom and I've got this um, cloud tape which I thought would be kind of cool. So we're going to put clouds up here because we can. I'm going to put a few of them. All right, and then this little guy is going to go on here and then we're going to get our words integrated into this somehow. So let's. Uh, get him tied down or glued down or however we're going to get him put on here. I think I'm just going to use a glue stick. Handy dandy glue stick, right? I got my little puppy laying here next to me in my bed. She's sleeping. She's been outside with dad all morning. They had to cut up a branch that fell off a tree. See? Cute! He'll be cuter once you can see him more. I'm going to use some uh, color on him here in a second. All right, let me grab... Um, I'm going to get some paint to paint him. But before I do that, I just want to do these edges black. I don't know what it is. There's something about when you do the edges, it just kind of gives it that finished look. It doesn't... And really, you're not doing a whole lot to it, but I don't know. I like the look, so. All right, let me grab some paint so I can paint him, and we'll be... Okay, so I started coloring this guy with some Distress Crayons, and I really don't like the way it's coming out. So I got out my... Uh, these are the graphics, and they're basically a paint pen. And I thought maybe I would work this guy with the paint pen because I think it'll come out better. I just want his face to show. And here's his eyes. We'll make his eyes a little bit bigger. Right, I just wanted him to show up a little bit more. So I'm going to play around with this and then I'm going to play around with um, the clouds with some of the paint. And then I got thinking about how I'm going to put my words on here and I got a few of these um, punches out. This one's just a little leaf. Uh, that's an EK punch. This is a Fiskars and it's just a small circle. And then I have the one inch circle which is the EK success. So I thought maybe we're going to try something here and see what it looks like. Just something different. Um, let's see if it's going to look right. What I have in mind. I can actually use either or. It doesn't really matter on that. And then cut that out. Come. Come on out. Alright, so what I'm thinking about doing is actually um, I'm just going to have him holding these flowers like this. Maybe we'll just do this. You know what? We'll just do this one gonna have him holding these flowers and that's what our words are gonna be in so let me go ahead I'm going to fast forward through this process because I want to play around with him a little bit um, and then we're gonna do our other side which are our good words so I'll be back shortly all right so I did a little bit more with him and I just added a little bit more silver on these clouds um, 
Now I have these flowers that I cut out and I, like I said, I want him holding the flowers. So I'm gonna take this, this is a glue pen, it's by Zig. And you just push on it like you're writing and it puts glue down. So I want him to hold these. Here's one flower. Oh, I'm gonna have to outline them to make them pop out of that background. I can do that. All right, here's another flower. Actually, we'll put one. We'll put one down here. Put one on his toes. How's that work? So there's two, and here's the third. And then we're gonna put our bad keywords on here. And then we're gonna flip it over and look at our front side. So first thing we're gonna do though is I want these. Um, I haven't found my pencil sharpener yet, so I can't use that one. Hold on. I want to outline these flowers, so let me grab another black pen. Uh, I'll be back. So I found my Stabilo pencil, and I found my part pencil sharpener. Yay, now if I can just keep them where I know where they are, right? All right, so here's one of our flowers. Again, I'm just trying to outline the flowers so we can see them there um, because they don't have a whole lot of difference in color than our background. All right, and let's take a pen. So our words for the back were question or query. So I'm just gonna put a big old question mark right here. All right, because we need to question. Um, the next one was quivering. Which we're gonna put there. And then the third one was quit. Because there are days we all just wanna quit, right? So there's our bad side or our back side, whichever way you want to look at it. He's kind of cute. All right, let's go over to our front side. This is our good words. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this paint that I have left over here. Let me grab some stencils and let's get something put on here. So what kind of keywords do we have on the good side of the tag? We have um, one question. <laughs> That's a good thing because when you have the chronic pain, the more you question your symptoms, the more information you find out, the easier it is to understand them and the easier it is to uh, try to figure out a plan on how to live with it, right? So we always have to question. Um, just want to put a little bit of ghosting in there. There we go. All right. So question, that's huge. Um, we always have to question whenever we find out a diagnosis or a symptom or, you know, talk to your doctor and find out, hey, is this really true? Is this, does this go with this disease? You know, am I supposed to be feeling this way? That kind of thing, right? And then we have um, quiet. Again, we talked about that. Oh, I didn't put that on the back side. Let me see if I can put it somewhere. Um, quiet. Gosh, I'm going to put quiet right here. Um, quiet can also be a good thing. Um, when you have the chronic pain, there are times you just plain need it to be quiet. You need, you know, every everything to just be quiet. Be, you know... Um, you don't want to talk to doctors. You don't want to talk to family. You don't want to talk to friends. You don't want to talk to anybody. You just want quiet. And you know what? It's okay. Sometimes that's what you have to do to get your whole body, spirit, and soul back into living the life that you've been chosen to live, right? So quiet is not always a bad thing. Um, let me dry this real quick. Let's see. What else do we have? We have uh, quick. Now, for quick, I think part of that is, what's good about that is to be quick. When you notice a symptom, be quick about it and find out and write it down. 
don't just put things off and let things go. Um, I don't think that's a, a smart thing to do it, for anybody that has chronic pain. I really think you need to be um, quick on the draw when it comes to, you know, all right, I've been this way for 10 years. Now all of a sudden something, something funky feels different. You know, let's not ignore that. Be, be quick about it and just be diligent and, and say, hey, you know, this is what's happening. Is this, is this, should this happen? Um, so be quick about finding out your answers as much as you can. Uh, just, I think the biggest thing is don't ignore. Don't ignore symptoms. Don't ignore, you know, well, Aunt Fran says to take this and you'll feel all better. Well, you know, um, I guess that wasn't a good example. <laughs> but hey, it worked, right? So anyways, uh, be quick, you know, don't, don't let things go. Be on top of things. Um, another one is, is, is quit. Don't quit. You know, some days we want to. I'm the first one to admit that. There's days I just, I want to say to hell with it and I want to be done. And we can't do that. We can't quit. Our body hasn't quit on us yet, so why would we quit on our body? We, we can't, you know. Um, do the best you can with what you have and strive to do more if it's something that you want to do. Um, but don't quit. Don't just say, well, oh, it hurts when I move, so I'm never going to move again. We can't do that. Yeah, it hurts. Every day I move to get out of bed, it hurts. But, first of all, what kind of a quality of life is that? I'm not going to stay in bed because it hurts all, you know. I, I'm in pain 24-7. So, what does it matter whether it hurts while I'm laying in bed or I'm sitting here at my desk playing in art, right? So, don't quit. Just because your body doesn't want you to do something doesn't mean that you have to do it, you know, 24-7. But, don't give up on it still enjoy your life and still try to find the best way to make your life as comfortable as possible and also as fulfilling as possible. So don't quit. All right, I've got this other little guy here. Um, he came out of the same monster uh, pack from Bow Bunny of stamps. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fussy cut him out and then we're gonna get him put down on here and we're gonna figure out a way for him to give us our good words. So again, I'm going to fast forward through that just because it's going to take me a little bit and we will chat at the end. All right, chat in a bit. All right, so I got this little guy. I used some uh, Derwent uh, colored pencils on him and I'm not sure why I have this shadow, but I'll try to fix that. So I'm just going to use this pen. All you do is you squeeze a little bit here and then when you press down, it lets it out. See the blue? That is the glue. So I'm just going to throw some glue on this little guy. And I have to say I really like the glue that's in this pen because it's it's very, very sticky. And um, yeah, it holds really well. Now I did the same thing with the piece of paper. I took that piece of paper from the magazine and I just cut these out. I, these are going to be kind of like balloons, I think. And these are going to hold our good name, our good words. So let's put them here. So he's got some balloons that he's carrying. And then I just pulled out a Sharpie. And we're gonna have some lines coming down to his, down to his little hand. And he's actually carrying our balloons for us, which is going to have our words on it. So let's see, what have we got? We've got question, quiet, and quick. And quick. All right, and I'm not doing a whole lot more with him. Uh, we're gonna find some fibers. Let me do that real quick. All right, so I found some fibers here. This one actually has a bead on it. Um, just trying to decide if I want to keep that bead on there or not. You know what? I'm not going to. 
I'll take the bead off. It was just tied in a knot like that already. Um, and we're just going to use these. So, Q. Yeah, it's been kind of a quirky word, huh? Um, we've got our words down. We've got uh, question, query, quivering, quiet, and quit on our back side. And then we have, of course, question again, quiet, and quick as well um, on the front side. And there we go. Look at that. So here's our bad side. He's holding flowers, quiet and quivering and quick. And here's our good side. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this week. As always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and I'll see you guys again next week. Take care. Bye.